Hey Redbirds, this is Mary and I'm your study abroad correspondent for Hansa University located in Groningen. So Groningen is about two and a half, maybe two hours outside of Amsterdam located in the Netherlands. Some people might call it Holland, it's the same place. But that's where I'm studying this summer and my program's focus is on intercultural communication and it's starting in a couple days. So I'm currently a journalism major going into my senior year this upcoming fall, so my last year's coming up, and this is my second study abroad trip. Last summer, actually, I studied in Paris. It was my first time going out of the country, and it was one of those things that I had been dreaming of for a long time. So actually going and going to Paris for the first time was amazing, and it kind of ignited this fire inside of me for travel. And it's kind of funny, because I'm in Paris right now. I took the opportunity to leave a week ahead in advance, of my program and go to London and Paris with a friend and show them around the two cities that I'd been to before. So right now I'm actually sitting in the courtyard of my hostel in Paris, which sounds a little scary, but I promise you it's like one of the coolest things in the world. I love staying at hostels as long as you look at a good rating. You're good to go and you're in the middle of the city and you have fun things and new people to meet. But I'm sitting in my courtyard right now taking this video and basically I have about two days until I have to hop on a train into the Netherlands and into Amsterdam. So I'm just kind of getting things out of the way before I have to get all that done. So my experience studying abroad last summer was a little bit different than what I'm doing this summer because in Paris they speak mostly French. Uh, I don't speak French hardly at all. So that was something that I kind of had to conquer by myself last summer and pick up a couple phrases along the way. But when it comes to Hansa and the Netherlands it's kind of well, their primary language is Dutch, but they speak a lot of English at the same time. So it's going to be really interesting for me to see if I learn as much Dutch as I learned French last year. Because I did pick up quite a few of those French phrases, and that was something that really helped me. Because now that I'm here again, I can use them and actually help my friend get around and stuff and talk to some of the locals minimally. But um, it'll be interesting to see if I pick up any Dutch. And then in addition to that, kind of the food there is something that I'm a little worried about. Um, I have a very picky appetite, so it's going to be hard. I'm going to have to branch out of my shell and try new things or else I'm not going to eat. <laughs> but um, I don't know, trying new foods is something that's never really a bad idea. Nothing can really compare to last summer. I tried escargot for the first time, which was kind of scary. Um, for those of you who don't know, that is French for snails. And it wasn't the worst thing in the world, so I, I don't think I could do much crazier things than that in the Netherlands than I did last summer here in Paris. But um, with the whole new adventure just at my fingertips right now, I'm really excited to hop on my train. And um, I'll see you guys in a few days. Stick around and hear about my settling into Hansa. Thanks. See ya.